Hey, what's up you guys? Ash here. Hope you all are enjoying your weekends. Gonna try, try, and make this quick. <laughs> Sony released an indie mega pack last month in Europe. I assume that they did pretty well in sales because now they are releasing a PS Vita Lego mega pack in Europe this spring. The Lego Mega Pack will be available in two bundles, the Memory Card Bundle, which will grant you six games that I'll share with you in a bit, and the choice of either the 8GB card that will cost you £45 over $75, US dollars, or the 16GB card for £50 over $80. US dollars. The second bundle is the Console Bundle, which will include a PS Vita Wi-Fi system, no slim, a 16 gig card and a voucher that will grant you six Lego games chosen by Sony. This bundle will be for 199 pounds. That's uh, I think probably like over 300 in US dollars. And those games are this includes the memory card bundle, by the way, Lego Harry Potter years five through seven, Lego Batman 2 DC superheroes, Lego Indiana Jones the original adventures. Lego Batman, the video game, Lego Pirates of the Caribbean, the video game, and Lego Star Wars 3, the Clone Wars. Six Lego games you are entitled to if you purchase one of these bundles. Now, this is only in Europe, not here in North America. From the way the Vita is doing here in the US, I don't believe it would sell well at all. <laughs> they would have the console bundle for $299, therefore no one is going to buy it. However, the memory card bundle sounds really awesome. Having that over here for $50 or $60 would probably entice consumers in buying a Vita. Instead of buying a Vita game for $40, add 10 or more dollars and you have a memory card as well as 6 games under your belt. I believe they should at least bring the memory card bundles here in the US. It's a cool idea. Now, let's talk about those six games. Honestly, Sony is being cheap in my opinion. Those games are old and would probably only interest real LEGO fans. Perhaps they're doing this to lower the price of the bundle, but they are only DS ports. They're nothing special. The only good game on there is LEGO Batman the video game. And I think... Um, the, uh, the Indiana Jones one. I think that's also a console port. But why those games are good? Like I said, they are the console port. And a much greater experience on for what would be for the Vita. Here's what I would do. I would take out Lego Batman 2, Pirates of the Caribbean, and probably Indiana Jones or Star Wars. I, I can't decide. And I would replace those three with Lego Marvel Super Heroes, Lego The Lord of the Rings, and Lego Movie the Video Game. That way, you can show off what the Vita can do with two real Lego games, I'm referring to Lego Lord of the Rings and Batman. This will also make the bundle fresh with new Lego games. Yes, the two out of the three games I've mentioned are pretty new, but they are nothing special, just DS ports on the Vita, which is why it isn't special because of what the Vita can do. You gotta want to sell this thing. Majority of old games, it just it just isn't going to cut it. Which is why they probably, um, this is why it's probably gonna be in two bundles. Um, anyway, that's all. Again, the LEGO Mega Pack will be in Europe this spring. And if you're interested and are a huge LEGO fan and want the experience on the go, well, you know what to do.